we're going to take a look at the properties of lines that are in the form y equals mx plus b. So the first thing that a line will have is what's called the x-intercept. The x-intercept is the x-coordinate of a point where the graph intersects the x-axis. So the x-intercept is just where you're crossing the x-axis. The next part of the line is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the graph intersects the y-axis. So the x-intercept is where you cross the x-axis, the y-intercept is where you cross the y-axis. You can write x and y-intercepts as either points, or you could just say uh, x equals your x-intercept and y equals your y-intercept. Right, the last thing about a line that we're going to talk about is the slope of a line. The slope of a line, if you have the actual picture of a graph, the slope of the line is your m value. It is your m value that is right here on your y equals mx plus b, but it is also your rise over the run. So if you have an actual graph, the slope here, we would find out how much we're rising and how much we're running. So you always start at one point. I always like to start at the y-intercept. My y-intercept is my b. I am rising 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but I'm not rising actually, I'm falling 6. So I'm rising negative 6, and then we are running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means the slope of this line that is drawn here would be negative 6 over 5. The slope of a line is referred to a lot as the rate of change. How the line is changing. Is it increasing fast? Is it decreasing fast? Is there a slow increase? Is there zero increase? All of those are ways that you could look at the slope. Let's discuss how to find the x and y intercepts where we're given a, an equation. So let's say I have this equation y equals 6x plus 12. And I need to find the x and y intercepts. To find the x intercepts, it's very simple. You just plug 0 in for y and you solve for x. So I'm going to plug 0 in for the y here. I get 0 equals 6x plus 12. And we solve for x by subtracting that uh, 12 over, so negative 12 equals 6x, and divide by 6. So that means that x is equal to negative 2. So the x-intercept is at negative 2. As a point, it is the x value is negative 2. Remember the y value was 0 because we plug 0 in for y. To find the y-intercept, you plug 0 in for x and solve for y. So what it's really coming down to is you plug 0 in for the opposite value to find the specific intercept. So if we go up here, we're going to plug 0 in for x plus 12. So our y-intercept is 12. As a point, we plug 0 in for x and our y was 12. So this would be the actual y-intercept there. It gets a little more complex when you don't have linear equations, but this process is the same for any equation, not just linear. To find the slope of the equation of the line, let's say that it is in the form y equals mx plus b. The slope is very simple. As long as the y is solved for, the slope is the value that is on the x. So if I have y equals 1 half x minus 7. And I want to find the slope of this line. 
There's literally no work you need to do for this. You just look at the value that's on the x, and your slope is 1 half. Now it can get a little bit more complicated, but not much. If I have my equation like this, and my y is not solved for, the simple thing you need to do here is solve for y. So I will subtract the 3x over, and I will get 4y is equal to negative 3x plus, because it's positive, 8. And then just divide each piece of my equation by 4. We get our equation of the line in the y equals mx plus b form. And we can find the slope of our line by just finding the value that is on the x. So our slope would be negative 3 fourths. The cool thing about doing it in this way, in this form, is that solving for y gives you not only your slope, but it actually also gives you your y-intercept. Now you're not always going to have the equation of the line or a graph of the line, so there's one other way you can find the slope, and it is if you are given two points. To find the slope of a line where you're given two points, x1 and y1, x2, y2, you use this equation. m, the slope, is equal to y2 minus y1, so the change in y's, divided by x2 minus x1, the change in x's, or the rise over the run. So some important things about this formula is that it does not matter which point you pick as x1, y1, and x2, y2, as long as you're consistent with putting the uh, whatever one you pick for x2 for the y is the same for the x. All right, let's try one problem where we find the slope. So let's find the slope between the points 2, comma, 7 and the points negative 1, comma, 3. So I'm just going to have this be x1 and this one y1, this one x2 and this one y2. So we're just going to start with our points and plug them into the formula. So our slope is equal to y2 minus y1, which is 7, over x2, which is negative 1, minus x1, which is 2. So we've got 3 minus 7 is negative 4, and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. If we simplify negative 4 divided by negative 3, that would be 4 thirds. And that is the slope of the line that contains these two points.